I'm open to having conversations about anything that is actually going to fix this problem. Senator Martha McSally's vague answer last week on expanded background checks on all gun sales was followed by an equally evasive answer this morning. Your president has talked about the potential of expanding background checks. Yes or no on that? Would you yeah, support him so, on that? So, Dennis, I'm not trying to avoid you. I'm just trying to tell you what my guiding principles are as I'm looking at legislation, as I'm having conversations with people. Questions about stricter sure gun laws are. come after 31 people were killed in back-to-back -back mass shootings this month in Texas and Ohio. President Donald Trump reacted by saying he is now open to expanding background checks on all firearm sales. McSally's vague responses stand in sharp contrast to the comments she made in 2012 when she first ran for Congress. Who else can we talk to? At the time, candidate McSally was very clear that she strongly opposed closing the so-called gun show loophole that allows buyers to evade background checks when conducting private transactions. So just like I can sell my car, I can sell my gun. And so that's the law, and it's not a loophole, it's freedom, and uh, absolutely it needs to stay that way, because any, any restrictions on that at gun shows or other places is just absolutely unconstitutional. Although McSally is no longer that clear on the issue, she rejected the idea that her stance has evolved or changed. No, I've been very consistent, uh, and, uh, and, and my leadership in the House on this issue has been consistent as well. And McSally did say she'd like to take a closer look at the so-called red flag laws being pushed by President Donald Trump and Governor Doug Ducey. The laws make it easier to take guns away from people who have been deemed a public threat. In the newsroom, Dennis Welch for Arizona's Family.